today is beagle time. Yes, we're gonna have a doggone great time at drawing today. I got two jokes for you today. To start off, what do you call a dog left outside too long? A chili dog. And last but not least, what kind of dog likes to take a bath every day? A shampoodle. <laughs> oh yeah, I crack myself up. Okay, so let's get started. We are gonna start with a circle. All right, we got the circle. Its head is tilted, so we're gonna go down and then we're gonna go across. Perfect. No, it's not a cat, it's a dog. It's not perfect. Yeah, I cracking myself up today. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get going. So on that, we are gonna do its cute big, tr that's one thing I love about animals. You can't really see the whites of the eyes. You pretty much just see the color and it just makes them look that much cuter. Mm, so cute. Okay, it cracks me up also when dogs sleep because they dream and my dog, it's like it's chasing a rabbit or something. It'll go and it'll be like chasing it. Okay, so we're gonna make right at the tip here down and then this part you follow that along and then just bring it down a little bit follow this along and then down a little bit okay and on this line this right here is going to be where the nose is coming off right on that line and then this line is going to go down okay let's erase this so we don't get confused with this center line because we don't need it anymore Okay, I can start seeing the dog. So we're gonna give it some jowls. So along the side here, we're gonna give it, um, we're gonna make it come out just a little bit. See how it's coming out? It's a little bit on either side. So you can erase inside there. It's that flappy little skin. And then we're gonna give it its chin. So it's just gonna come down like this. So now you can erase in it. <laughs> kind of looks like it has teeth there. Aw, I'm gonna call him Tuffy. Aw, Tuffy. Tuffy looks cute. Okay, Tuffy and Tuffy. I'm putting three whisker marks there. Okay, and on Tuffy's head, it should have a bee name because it's a beagle. Um, all right, it's Buster. All right, Buster. Yeah, Buster's better. Buster the beagle. If you'd name your dog, what would you name it? Okay, so now we're gonna do its ears. They almost look like triangles, but we're gonna make it a slight lump. So there's a lump on it, and then you can make it go into a soft triangle up, and it's behind it. So do the same thing on this side. Softed lump, go down, and then up. Super job. All right, for his body, we're gonna start from the middle of its jowl, and just make it come down like this. And its front part is gonna come from up here. And then we're gonna make it come down. Now we won't go all the way down because we're gonna put some legs in there. And we might as well get its tail in here. Why not? We're doing it. What do we know? Well, I guess I could do the fun facts when we're done, when we're coloring it, but you probably won't get to coloring it. Um, okay, we wanna do his collar. So we're gonna go down and up, make a loop. And this part's gonna go over and it's gonna go down and then up. Okay. That's a, um, his little um, tag. So we got his tag going on. If you wanna put his name inside there, you can. You can make it shaped like a bone or a heart. And this is going to be the strap that's holding it in. So you want to erase in there. 
and put circle, circle, circle. And this is the end of his leash. Thank goodness for erasers, right? Right. Okay, so coming off of here, right here we're gonna do his back leg. So we're gonna go up and over his back paw, okay? And we're gonna have his front paw coming out. And this you're gonna jump over. So it's here, jump and finish it off. And this is gonna come right off of its chest. And this is his back, little back foot. I'm just gonna see a little piece of it, okay? Now, we're not gonna be sharpie, so you wanna do this a little lighter. We're not gonna sharpie right here, and then we're not gonna sharpie where its spot is, and then this part. So you don't wanna sharpie this. And if you wanna give it a shadow, you can down there. And a shiny, so don't color in the shiny. Okay, we're gonna sharpie it real quick, and then double sharpie, and I've got fun facts, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to double sharpie around the outside. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna give it a shadow down here. Now I'm gonna erase any lines. These are the extent of my colors. So we are gonna use for its dark spot. This is just regular brown. I think this is what I used. You know what, I think I used a different brown. Hmm. So you wanna make this as dark as you can. So this is brown, but you know, every color pencil brand has like a different color brown. I must have used a dark brown. Cause that's clearly not it, but that's okay. You get the gist of it. Then I'm going to use light brown for the rest of it. And this is where you can connect these lines. And then these are gonna be colored in. What else do I know? Okay, beagles are small hounds. There's nothing like a hound dog. Okay, and they have a great sense of smell. So be careful farting around them because they're gonna be able to really smell it. Just kidding. Sorry, don't tell your parents. <laughs> that was funny. And um, they are one of the world's best tracking dogs because of their nose. So they're hunter dogs and they've got, this is what I read somewhere. Oh, we wanna put line here. Line here and line here. They've got 220 million scent receptors. Huh. That's crazy. I don't even know what a scent receptor is, but they got 220 million. I guess that's what helps them smell. Should have looked that one up. What's a receptor? All right, do its back leg. What else do I know? Um, oh, the very first beagles were only nine inches tall at, at full grown. They were littles. I also read somewhere which made me very, very, very sad that beagles are used as like lab dogs because they're so docile and sweet. They use those for experiments. Look at that. You know what? Mm -mm. No, no. No, that's not cool. Sorry. Sorry. That kind of makes me a little mad. Really? Yeah, that frustrates me. Because these dogs are sweet and cheerful and affectionate. So, yeah, they're good. They're good family dogs. That's a little frustrating. <sighs> so you wanna put a little under, oh, I forgot to do its whisker um, marks. Also, I'm gonna give it some rosies. 
a little bit of rosy cheeks. And, oh, let's make its um, eyebrows darker brown. And if you want, you can put a little bit of dark brown on the tips here. A little ombre look. Ombre means it goes from one color to another, so. Um, we've got a little ombre going on. Um, light brown, oh, let's finish this off. Anyways, if you, tell me, if you could have any dog in the world, what would it be? Do you have a favorite dog? Um, me, myself, I get, as a child, deathly afraid of dogs. Deathly afraid. I was bitten a couple times. They could smell my fear. And um, so, dogs kind of intimidate me, unless they're like little and cute. I like the little dogs, even though it was like a little dog that one of the, I had a big dog that bite me and a little dog that bit me. Yeah. Anyhow, they can just smell it. Smell of fear. So all you're going to do is you're going to color this red and then this yellow or gold. And then if you want to give it a background, that's great. See you guys in the next one.